Okay guys, I've decided to do a video about spade leg or spade leg. I don't know what's the right pronunciation. A uh, few people have asked me about, hey, I got a bird with a spade leg. How do I treat it? First of all, what is a spade leg? To me, it usually happens when you have like poor nesting material, not enough firm nesting material in the nest or uh, could be there is nesting material but uh, the youngsters tend to poop inside the nest ball and the poop, the poop is quite watery creating a, a pretty much like a slippery slop in the nest box by which when they're trying to put the foot down it is slipping sideways you can see I have a youngster in here that I'm kind of trying to fix it for spade leg it's a Hannah powder youngster uh, um, it's out of a ballless, blue ballless cockbird and the silver hen carrying, potentially carrying ballless. I'm hoping this youngster is a ballless, but who knows. Anyway, this got a spade leg and uh, I'm trying to correct it. And these are the two things that I use. One is a regular, I guess, uh, a tape, you know, uh, that you can... Uh, get from the first aid box pretty cheap and uh, you know it's a sticky tape made of like paper and I wrap it on the one leg that is quite firm first and give a few wraps and then I go along and wrap it on the other leg and connect both of, both of the legs together and uh, Separate the youngster, hand feed it, and uh, hopefully within a week it get adjusted. Sometimes uh, if it doesn't work well, what I do is uh, I would take something uh, for extra support. Like in this case, you know, this is just a, you know, a candy. I take the, I cut this, uh, you know, the holder like you know like it looks like a stick like a pretty firm stick i cut it off and i tie it to the upper thighs i actually uh, let me show the youngster look at this you can see on this leg going to the other leg and i usually do it on the thighs i connect them together you can see in the center and over here i'm sorry i'm trying to do this by myself on this area I put you know a straw or in this case I use the candy uh, stick and this has been I would say the bird is now day three or four and it's making quite a bit look it's standing on its own it's earlier the legs were like kicking backwards but it's making a pretty decent progress so I hope it gets better, but I hand feed this youngster morning and evening, and I'm hoping it's a hen because I do need some ballless hens. So that's what I do. I'll just uh, use the tape, tie it on the upper thighs, connect them together, and look. I hope you guys can see what I did. You know, it's pretty simple. And uh, I usually use like you know, like the way the candy stick. Or some people use a straw for extra grip and you know I let this has been day four for this youngster I tried like two or three days without the handy stick without the candy stick and it didn't work well so I put the stick on it and it is working much better and I'm gonna let this be there for maybe a week or two until you know I'll, I'll make my own assumptions when the youngster is getting more balanced and standing on its own feet and uh, then I will decide to cut it off and uh, hopefully you know it is fully corrected so I hope this video makes some kind of sense if you have any questions you know you can comment all right have fun happy breeding season good luck to everybody take care bye